Hey, good afternoon. I hope your Sunday is going well. Um, I'm just uh, headed in to do some Bible studying. And uh, I, uh, wow, okay, it was a lot. So let's try to make this real short. I um, got settled in last night and the Lord gave me through a Christian sister the movie Damsel. And I was blown away by the story. So for quite some time now, especially now that I'm settled, I've been going to the Lord and asking him, can you please put some pieces of the puzzle together for me for the last year at least, or a little more so I can see. And uh, anything that's going on, but I leave it to you and I just let it go. And uh, yesterday the Lord began to get me so many different messages, uh, prophetic words through different people. and. In, it was on YouTube, a lot of them, but man, I mean, you just talk about right to the heart of things. It was like God took an arrow and just shot it right into my heart. Not in a bad way, but in saying, okay, here's what I'm going to give you. So he started to um, reveal to me uh, so many different things, and it actually just gave me a real sense of peace. Um, I went to a uh, fellowship this morning for the second time and the pastor and I got to sit after church and just talk a little bit and he was just telling me that you know one time uh, not so long ago he found himself in a different country and uh, he had been sent by the Lord to minister and long story short he didn't realize the intensity of the spiritual battle that he was going to be in. Um, he had come from more of a denominational religious type background and God started doing all kinds of things that he didn't expect. And uh, then he was in a different country, he needed an interpreter, and so he just said finally, you know, the people uh, that were there with him said, you know, just follow the script, so to speak, do, you know, follow the script, stay with the message, we're here to share the gospel. And, the Lord, the Holy Spirit, kept impressing on him so bad that one person uh, really needed a specific word, and he just let it go. And he walked away, and he went to that person, and all kinds of deliverance came out of that. And uh, But he was talking about how uh, he was oppressed uh, right after that, you know, and he was in the learning, um, in learning mode like me. You know, it's one thing to know that there's spiritual warfare. It's one thing to be on your knees in intercession, but it's another thing, I want to say it's kind of like walking in a room full of mirrors. You see the mirror in front of you, you believe that that's the right thing, and then all of a sudden you look all around you and there's mirrors everywhere. Um, the spiritual battle can become very multi-dimensional all at once, and sometimes you just, well, a lot of times you can find your in over your head. And uh, we were talking this morning, and I said, you know, I realize now more than ever that I can never fight the enemy on my own. You know, I just cannot do it without Jesus and without the Word of God, the Holy Spirit, without the Father, without holding their hand and saying, show me the playbook in this situation. Show me the players. Walk me through this step by step. And, uh, you know, a lot of times he fights our battles for us. We know we already have the victory, but a lot of times we have to engage in the battles as well. And... Uh, that was a big experience for me. But my main thing was, you know, seeking the Lord about the shame that I had felt and the guilt and what did I do wrong and how did I screw this up? And I'm not saying that I didn't make mistakes, but I think the thing that I can finally put to rest and why is that what really happened was God. And I don't know the outcome of it, but he let me know he was really in it. And I'm going to tell you how. Besides scripture, um, Last night, I'm going back to this movie, a uh, Christian sister had talked about the movie called The Damsel. So I said, okay. So I looked up the trailer and it blew me away. So I ended up getting everything settled and just crawling up and watching this whole story. And I was like, God, I mean, he just spoke to the whole thing. And he said, yes, indeed, this is where you went. And yes, indeed, you had lessons to learn. And yes, indeed, it was me. And yes, indeed, you were in a great battle. And do I understand everything in the outcome? Nope, <laughs> I don't. But I guess the one thing that I, is the takeaway for me in all of this especially is to know that I am a child of God and he is making me into a warrior um, on the front lines. King David said, you teach my hands how to make war. And this morning when I got up, you know, the Lord let me know there's another storm, like I had said, on the horizon. And two scriptures he gave me this morning was this. He will quiet you with his love. It's in Zephaniah. 
and uh, you know he will sing over you he will quiet you with his love and the other one was uh, what King David said I am like a wean child with my mother and then in the message this morning the pastor was talking about one uh, particular verse where Paul's greeting was always grace and peace to you but I think he worded it another way and I can't remember but the emphasis was on grace so we talked about grace and uh, you know, the Lord just put it in me that grace is kind of like saying, I am. When not, let me back up. When God, uh, when Moses went to God and said, who do I tell them that you are? He said, tell them that I am has, has sent me. And I am is just God saying to us, I am whoever you need, whenever you need me, however you need me, always. And, uh, he let me know this morning that grace is like that too you know grace is not just the grace that we get from the gospel message the grace that God gives us in every battle in every situation is whatever tools we need and wisdom and knowledge and understanding and insight whatever we need the word of God said if any of you lacks wisdom let him ask of God who gives to all liberally and without reproach and will be given to him but let him ask in faith and no doubt so God is literally for every circumstance every conflict every battle it's not against people we were in the spirit but he literally gives us a tool bag of what we need at the time we need it and even the words he promised in the hour to speak and you know the last thing i wanted to say this morning which really made me smile was uh, another brother had come up from watchman on the wall with a prophetic word about being a sponge and you know i saw it and it's really true you know whatever we immerse ourselves in or who is what we become like it's what we pour out uh when we're full and uh, i know for me i just want to stick with the lord and be a sponge for him and then pour out what he says so anyway i just thought it was so cool how god will maybe not like job give us um you know the everything every detail that we ask for but how many times god is so merciful and he'll come back and say no you're really struggling with this and i just want to put my hand on your shoulder and say look that was all about me all about something i want to accomplish in others lives in your lives and in the battle and don't worry i've overcome it all and so will you because of that so have a great day